another Mirai's army. What a joke. Here comes another Miraidon. Surprise, surprise. Oh man, we just got the Gengar though. Are you serious with the Ultra Ball? We got Gengar in our hand just now. Yay, Beach Core! Please don't play the generator on the first turn. I know you've got four copies, but just don't. Imagine if you could do an item lock on the first turn. That should be an ability, you know. Stage 1 ability or something. Oh, no generator. Surprise, surprise. No generator. Now we gotta wait for the knockout though. We kinda have to wait for them to knock us out. Cause they can't place any damage counters now. This is pretty weird. We may just do dynamic punch with annihilate. Dynamic punch and then damage from from the annihilate if they don't knock us out. They're probably gonna knock us out though. We are doing twice as much damage. So if we dynamic punch, we can actually kill the Yudaiki. Thanks to the weakness. No boss. Arvin. Oh man. Really? Venus.
sword, I guess. What? They didn't kill us? Well, that's annoying. Haha, <laughs> that's kind of annoying, actually. Oh, shit. No damage pump though. We can't even transfer to the Venusaur. Uh, transfer to from the Venusaur. Finally got the pump. Bit too late for that. Would will we get the annihilate though? I'm not even sure if we'll get it. I didn't want to waste my Serena. Maybe that was my downfall? We definitely should have played the Serena for the draw support. If we don't get the Annihilate this turn. Okay, we got it. Oh, we actually need two energies though. Oh no, Dynamic Punch. 70 is not enough, obviously. Okay, we got the other energy. That's fine. Um, let's bench the pincer. Not very lucky. If we play Annihilate with the chest plate, do it, w would that work? We have 90 HP remaining though. Why isn't it showing? There we go. Got escape rope. We just need to fucking discard. Oh, we can't play the Gengar though. Oh no. We actually have to bench another man key. How do we do that? Holy shit. How do we bench another man key? Yikes. This is bad.
Oh my god, we, they gave us another knockout. They didn't put the VMAX. They should be putting the VMAX, right? We're doing it. We're doing it right now. Is that the first experience share? Yeah. How many balls do we have? Got a lot of level balls though. I don't think we need the experience share honestly. There we go. Thank goodness. Without that, we can't win, though. Or 40 damage. We got Peony and Ultra Ball. We just need the Ultra Ball, really. They do Avery. We got Gengar with Peony. Ultra Ball for Gengar. Peony discard the Gengar. And then... Oh, but we can't evolve. Oh, we can play Bibero, though. Peony for an Ultra Ball. And then Bibero play the Ultra Ball. We have one last Ultra Ball, though, right? Oh, we may have the primate prize though. How many primates do we have? I have no idea what to do right now, actually. <clears throat> it's pretty scary. We need Clara. I got another Mankey. So we don't need a Gengar. We may need the Clara though. Oh, this is scary actually. Oh yay, we got it. Thank God. Yay. That was pretty lucky. We actually did Annihilate first. Oh, Annihilate saved us.
flower or something. We got a flower or something. We finally got the VIP. First time ever. Playing this deck, we finally got the VIP. Of the 10 billion times of playing 3 copies. 10 billion draw. So we're gonna get the Beedoo, right? We got the Beedoo. Um, we need the Venusaur as well. We couldn't discard the Gengar, no Ultra Ball, no Serena. Um, oh well, we'll do a Burnett at some point. Eventually. We're gonna do the single strike energy. And then please go back. Oh, we got the Gyro. Sunny Green. So if they play a Judge, at least we got 4 cards in our hand. The stress of playing a one price deck. You have no idea. One price deck is not easy. But I don't think we can do that anytime soon. We've got two VIP left, so I don't think we uh, need to discard much. We may just get the evolutions at the wrong time, and that means we may not be able to draw with Zubero or Venusaur anymore. But we got Serena, we got Raihan, Miriam, uh, Burnett. Don't really have much supporter cards. For this deck. We have a lot of items. We can play out our items. We already, I don't think we have that many Pokemons either. Problem is we, if we get the Bibero before the second video. That's how we get the experience right now. We just need the experience. Now we are getting the Serena. Oh man. Let's hope we draw the Gengar or a Burnett at least. We need Gengar or Burnett. If we can knock out the Meloetta right now, if we can knock out the Meloetta, that would be crazy. Okay, we have to discard the damage pump though. The energy or the damage pump. We got 50. 50 plus 10 because they have resistance. 60 damage isn't enough. What are we gonna draw with Serena? Are we gonna draw energy? It's more likely for us to get the energy than damage pump, although we do have 4 copies though. We've got way more energies than the pump. We've got a lot more items than energy. Are we gonna get energy or are we gonna get. Oh man, this is hard. We can't really discard the second Gengar. So I'm gonna... Oh wait! We can't really attach the energy. Oh wait, we... If we discard the Gengar, we can play the damage pump. Fingers crossed. Yay, we got the energy. Yay, hey, I knew it. Definitely a lot easier to get the energy. But we got like three copies remaining of the damage box. Um, we're gonna transfer that onto these two. And then um, play those later, I guess. We're doing level ball now. For another video. Save date. Um, I'm not sure if we should bench the Beedoo though. 
I don't think we should be benching the beetle. It's only 140 damage because they got resistance. 150 plus 20 minus 30. We got Burnett for the next Gengar. We can't really be discarding, we can't really be playing the Beedle. So if we have one Beedle, one Venusaur, I feel like that should be enough. Or like two Beedle, no Venusaur. Same thing. Escape rope. Let's put the Gengar, wait. One energy retreat though, two energy. Let's put this one there. Oh no, if they do Elisa. Are they gonna play another Elisa? No, they actually did. Oh no, they didn't do Elisa. Did they have the Mew on the last turn? I don't think so. Did they attach it into their hand? From their hand? They have no more fusions like energy, so they can't play the second Elisa. Are they actually gonna knock us out with Psychic Leap right now? If they don't though, we need to dig for an energy. Energy man. Or the escape rope. If we play escape rope, we can't really target back to me. Oh my gosh, what is that? Is that a metal energy? It's a double turbo. Okay, they can beat it. Our first win. I don't care. We got our first win against the Muji Max. They had the advantage though, because we are playing uh, their resistance. Oh, it's a mouse hole deck. <laughs> That's funny. Mouse hole versus Miley. We need like Spovet though. I'm gonna get Spovet right now. I don't think they're gonna attack on the first turn. Oh, but we got the. Oh man. Got the experience share though. We have the fucking experience share. Oh no. Oh yeah, at least we get to bench another one. If we got the heavy bar on the last turn, like before doing that stash, we could have attached the experience share. Oh well, we can shuffle at some point. No energy on the first turn. Pretty terrible. If we get one energy, we can knock it out though, because it's actually weak towards fighting. 
30 HP. Imagine against Sabai. That's the reason I don't play Mouse Hole. I wanted to do it, but you need 4 copies in play. And if you do Avery, you're gonna be totally crushed. If you do a Bench Snipe with Greninja, you need Menopy. Like, you, I don't think Mouse Hole is good in standard right now. It's like quite terrible. Even with Zorok, it's just not gonna work. Avery completely destroys it. It would be fun to work out like what tech cards to add though. Definitely add tech cards to make it good. Against Bench Knight, Sabli. The Zorak box is quite a big thing. You could do Snow Bro for Zorak, Double Turbo, you could do a lot of things. It's kind of boring though. I don't really want to play like a Zorak box all the fucking time, you know what I mean? Um, we don't have the energy. Oh no, we don't have to be barrel. Fuck. That sucks. I think we need the aroma. Just gonna get everything out of the way. And then Nestash, hopefully for the energy. If we don't get the energy from Nestash, it would be very annoying. It would be pretty bogus though. Like, we didn't get energy for so many turns. After drawing so many cards, pretty crazy. still gonna knock us out now. We're done. They're gonna evolve and kill us. They need at least two though. But they got level ball. <clears throat> it's very consistent I guess. Rescue carrier level ball, very easy. Super fast. They have the double turbo. Oh, they have to transform, okay. We're gonna annihilate 140 HP. We just need two mouse holes. We need three though, but we got level ball. We don't have the draw support. Very fun though, isn't it? Fighting energy, why? Why do they have a fighting energy? I think they have Annihilate as well. Are they actually playing Annihilate also? 
Oh, like a stage one fighting type? Take on nothing, no draw support, no Radiant Venusaur? That would only make sense, right? So, we need this one, unfortunately. Um, we're gonna do that now. Um, let's put it on to those two. Let's see what? No, no, let's do all with the car one. I don't think we should play Ultra Ball, but I don't think we should just not do anything either. I didn't get the energy out. So we have to use Steaming Man Strike. I'm drawing two cards at least. Yeah, on top of the Avery, on top of it being weak to Avery, Sableye, it also doesn't, you also don't get to play enough draw support, right? It's a stage 1 attacker, you need the Zorok, you need the Barrel. Well, we are playing uh, double stage 1 as well. They need triple stage 1 though. We only have two stage 1 Pokemons in the deck. And they finally did the knockout. So we need to play Miriam at some point. Here comes the scary part. Oh dear. We got rescue carrier now. We gotta be really careful. Oh uh, shit. I'm scared now. Gonna play that, remove that card from our hand. Oh, wait, we oh shit, we don't need to play that though. We got Nest Stash. Oh, wait, we could have done Nest Stash for Venusaur. We should be doing it for Venusaur. Oh shit. Oh no. What am I doing? Can we shuffle back that many though? We're not doing any cards with Venusaur anyways. Wait, why is it 80 damage? Why is it 80 damage? Oh, we have a single strike energy. Oh no. We have a single strike energy? Well, that sucks. Are we actually gonna lose this because we don't have the experience share? not getting the experience share though. We got three more copies. We shuffled back too many cards, maybe. Oh, it wasn't enough. Wait, it's actually enough? 120 damage. Oh, oh, it's only 120 HP. Oh man. <laughs> We should have evolved into the Annihilate.
Oh man, I don't know what to do. If they do a boss, it would be really terrible. Uh, we kind of need to play the Raihan now, at some point. Or Raidon. It only attaches to fighting Pokemon though, right? Basic fighting Pokemon. Okay, they drew an extra price, but now we get to play Annihilate. If we play Annihilate, we got the energy, but I feel like we should save it for later. Oh man, we should have saved it for later. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's put that in the bottom, right? Um, or put the escape over at the bottom. Why do we have two be barrel? How do we have two be barrel? I thought we were only playing two bobbies. What? That makes no sense. We have three B barrel in the deck? That's weird. How are we actually gonna do annihilate? They can't knock us out though if we do annihilate. Oh no, they got the basic energy. Oh man. I thought they were doing double turbo for the second one. Oh no, they are actually hitting 140 damage. We just need the rescue carrier. They got the ultra ball. Fuck. Oh man, I played the annihilate wrong. How did I not see that? I'm fucking blind. Oh well, I tried. <laughs> They're probably gonna play the last mouse hole. Um, we just need the fucking experience share. We didn't play the nest stash, which is very stupid. We got one experience share prize. Escape rope, is that gonna help us? We have to stash right now. <clears throat> okay, we got the experience share, but we need to get the man key though. Oh man, no man key. What? That's nasty. That's fucking annoying, yo. There's no way they can knock us out the next turn, right? Like, this is embarrassing. Because we are actually doing a lot of damage. We're not supposed to be facing a one price stack. Oh my god. What a disaster. If they play like... I don't know what's gonna happen now. We just need another Gengar though, right? We can kill the Koraidon. We don't have the second Gengar? There we go. Pretty sure we have it by now. Like, come on. Jeez. So we have to use the ability. So they are playing Koraidon, which is actually pretty smart though. They need like a EX 
to counter for how weak mouse hold is being. <laughs> well, we got a knockout here. Where is the Pokemon? Nether World Gate. And 250 damage. We don't have uh, the tool card that reduces damage. I don't actually know what it's called, but there is a new tool card for uh, fighting Pokemon that reduces 30. If they have that, we need the single strike energy. Because we are not playing Grand anymore. No more Grand in this deck for added consistency. We won against Mouse Hole, yay! Sorry, is our deck. We always get the Ultra Balls so early. <sighs> Fucking annoying. Give us a VIP, please. There's an Arc Knight. Stash and the Venusaur though. Oh, if we just keep our hand, we could actually play the B-Barrel. I hope they don't get the switch though. Because that would be pretty bad. Oh, one energy retreat. Interesting. Um, could we knock out the B-Barrel? I don't think so. If they play a stadium, we could actually could. Or if we have a single strike energy. Are we gonna get a Venusaur or are we gonna wait for the B barrel? I'm just gonna wait for the barrel, whatever. If they play a judge, we may just get nothing. Crazy Arcanine. Oh no, they got the switch already. What? That was easy. Way too easy. <clears throat> oh, we can retreat right now. Um, but we don't really want to retreat, or do we? Well, yes. If we retreat... That's 2 energy retreat, oh my god, this is actually better. Even if it's like 10 HP less, I feel like we should be playing the 60 HP one. Um, the Kron Zenith Beedoof is actually better. So, we're gonna play Miriam, I guess? We shuffle that back at some point? Not right now though, I don't think. Serena. Let's do Serena first. We got Miriam. No, I don't think we should be discarding though. We have the Gengar, one copy at least. And the experience share, that's great. Alright, that's a good setup. It's not bad.
since you need the damage pump. They gave us the 30 damage though. They gave us uh, extra damage with Primate. And they didn't get the energy. Surprise. That was a huge surprise. Um, just gonna attach the energy now. Go B barrel. We just discarded the second B barrel though. I was expecting it to get knocked out, so. Um, do we play the Miriam? I don't think so. We have Raihan. If they do a boss, we got Raihan. HP remaining. That's what we get, like the damage pump. Oh, speak of the devil. Just got the damage pump. Why are we gonna transfer it to though? Transfer to the primate, right? Might as well. So that whichever one we attack with, at least we got something. And. Um, I don't think we should be playing the Miriam though. I don't want to play it too early. We should wait for one knockout first and then play the Miriam. Because we have four Mankeys. I don't think we have only one copy. We have to be careful with this card. So we need the Scovet. Scovet will help us a lot. They're not giving us basics. Okay, we finally got the Scovet. Or the Venusaur. Can I get this Covet right now? Oh, but wait, we can play a Raihan? That's a surprise. I don't know. Should we? We should have just benched another Mankey. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know what to do. There's no telling what's the best decision, honestly. Just need one energy, we should be getting it. There we go. No damage pump though. Um, we just need one fire. 150 twice is gonna kill it. So we're gonna do it. Charizard already. They got the base and we're done. Charizard heat more. Really good combo. We need Menafee now. Forcing us to get Menafee now. No basin, that's good. Oh my god. They just need to discard one fire. Bright flame with Charizard. Crazy. 250 damage though for three energies. Can you believe that? That's crazy powerful. Um, if we get the Menifee though, <clears throat> it may be too early to get the Menifee. We need one more. I don't know what to do. We don't have the Murphy anyways. Okay, that's fine. We have to discard... Um, another Gengar. How do we do that? Okay, we got the damage pump. Got the energy on this one. 
200 damage. Bye, Arcanine. The fucking basin is gonna. It's gonna be crazy, though. If they play a Raihan or a basin, it's gonna be very, very scary. They need to switch, but they can quite easily do Beach Court. Beach Court doesn't work for the evolution, though, so I don't think they're playing Beach Court. They may just do. I knew it, a Raihan. Raihan Basin switch, and they got the bench knife. Oh my god. I don't believe this. They're actually gonna do it right now? That would be crazy. Please don't. If you do a basin and switch, they got this, they got the win. Double kill. They just drew the mana people from the prize. Okay. No. No basin yet. Oh fuck. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Oh, we're safe. Um, we have no choice but to bench that, right? So I'm gonna attach that. Um, just get something out of the way, I guess? Oh no, we actually need that though. I'm gonna mess dash first. Oh, we got the pump. We can actually pump this onto the mana piece. That's if they don't play uh, um, Avery. If they do Avery, we're probably gonna discard a Gengar, but we lose one damage counter though from the mana piece. Or the score back. So we got another Gengar. I feel like we should be discarding the Gengar right now. No more Dilly Dally. We do the Ultra Ball the next turn and we should be fine. Ultra Ball for Mankey. Raihan onto the Mankey for Oh we got we got the Okay, we don't need to do that. We got the Nest Ball for Raihan and then Ultra Ball to discard uh, to get the evolution. Oh no, what's happening right now? That makes no sense. He should be pulling out the mana fee. Oh, it's the single strike energy. They're afraid of the single strike energy. Oh, it's only 90 damage, I see. Experience share. Oh no, oh no, we needed to discard that. Oh shit. Oh, but we have it in the discard pile, that's fine. We have one in the discard pile. <laughs> I'm being an idiot. Sorry, guys. We got boss. We can boss right now. But we need the Miriam now, I think. If we boss right now... We just need one more energy. Wait. Oh shit, we don't actually have enough damage though. 200. Oh no, we're not doing enough damage. Okay, we're gonna do the boss later, on the next turn. But I'm not sure if we have this, the another primate though. One, two, three. Do we have the last primate? We're actually gonna do the Raihan right now. Boss later, right? We have the primate, that's fine. Uh, we just need to do the Gengar. 250 damage to kill the Delphox. I think we got it, right? Pretty sure we got it. Uh, 
boss Gengar was going in the game. Because Dome Fox is not evolving, and no more Heat Energy, um, no more Cape of Toughness. It's gonna come back though. Cape is gonna come back as a charm, some kind of charm for all basic Pokemon. Plus 50 HP. So it's actually a lot stronger than Cape. Cape doesn't work on Pokemon GX, right? It works on Pokemon V and non box Pokemon. The only Pokemon it doesn't work on is GX. Obviously it only works on basic, but if it's a basic GX, you don't get the 50 extra HP. Radiant Charizard. We got Menifee, we're fine. Like, we are not doing anything. We got three prize remaining, we just need the boss. If they play Judge though, then we're partially screwed. Because we need to draw back Primate, we need to draw back the boss. Okay, thank god. No Judge, no Roxanne. We're fine. We got the single strike though, we can actually kill the Arcanine right now, 260. Right, we got 5. 270. 260 HP. We're not doing the boss. We don't have to. We're just gonna show off our Annihilate, because we have it. <laughs> but we can't evolve it unfortunately, for this game. So, 270 for an Arcanine knockout. Don't even need the boss. They get to reply. I believe in my deck, and it believes in me. Yay!
Yay.
イエーイウォーイイエーイウォーイ、uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one today. We're featuring the new Annihilate and we're playing with the old Battle Styles、uh, Primate doing Steaming Man Strike and we're using Gengar Gabe Jaw, the latest combo, to make sure.、Uh, We have as many, as many bench Pokemon with damage counters as possible for us to do as much damage with Steaming Man Strike. So we're doing 50x for each of our bench Pokemon in play with damage counters on them. So if we have a Gengar, if we get to in the discard pile, if we have it in the discard pile, we get to use his ability Nether World Gate to put it onto our bench directly from the discard pile and then place three damage counters on it. And with that three damage counter, we get to do damage pump to transfer two onto two other different Pokemons, spreading those damage counters onto the bench. And we're playing four copies of this card with Arvin to search for our items,、um, Raihan to search for any one card as well. Two copies, we got three、uh, experience share, which works very well with Arvin. And we also have、uh, Raihan for the energy acceleration, one Clara to retrieve our Pokemon, with one Miriam to shuffle back. Any five Pokemon from the discard pile before drawing three cards. So we have to shuffle back and retrieve our Pokemon just because we're only playing three copies of Primate,、uh, one copy of Annihilate, and four copies of Mankey. So we actually have to recycle them back to be able to use them again. The reason we're playing 4 3 1 line is because of the consistency. I've tried, I've experimented with this deck multiple times, and 4 3 1 is the best combo. It works the best if you have、uh, three Primeape and only one Annihilate. For some reason, it just, the algorithm just works. And then we have one School Vet, which works、uh, perfectly with our Radiant Venusaur and B Barrel draw support. We have one Pinsir to basically block off Fighting Resistance、uh, for Gardevoir EX because, you know, our Single Strike Pokemon is,、uh, you know, it's not doing less damage for Resistance. And that means we get to hit Gardevoir EX for 270 damage if we have one Single Strike Energy attached. And 270 damage is actually enough to kill a Gardevoir EX.、Uh, if they have four damage counters with、uh, Psychic Embrace, if they play their ability to attach two Psychic Energy from the discard pile onto the Gardevoir EX to attack, they are actually punished by four damage counters to satisfy the attack cost. And all we need is that one single strike energy and one Pinsir on the bench,、uh, with obviously all five、uh, bench we go on with damage counters to do Steaming Red Strike for 270 damage, knocking out a Gardevoir EX with one hit. So that's the,、uh, that's the reason we're playing one Pinsir in this deck. And we have also one m a n a p h e for the bench barrier, one Stone Journer to tank damage, helping us. Oh, we have two copies. I wanted to、uh, swap this for another, another one card, though. Another Ultra Ball or something. So we have one Stone Journer and four Ultra Balls now,、uh, helping us tank damage. So, Stone Journer, the reason we have that is because we want to be,、uh, you know, if we got it as our first active, if we get our escape rope early, We can bench the Stone Journal, put it as our first active Pokemon,、uh, forcing them to basically do damage. If they play a Lost Box, they're doing 110 damage, not enough to kill our Stone Journal, and that means we get to tank and transfer those damage counters with Damage Pump onto our bench,、uh, <coughs> allowing us to play our Primate、uh, after retreating our、uh, Stone Journal or after it dies, right? We don't need to, we don't really need, we don't really need to switch this out from the active. Uh, after you know, putting into the active the first time,、uh, if we have to bench it with the Nest Ball, just because if we are playing only one copy, we don't really get to hope that it shows up as our first active. If we get a Nest Ball and、uh, you know, Arvin, we can do an escape rope on our、uh, first turn going second or our second turn going first, and then put it as the active,、uh, you know, wait until it gets damaged and wait until it dies after we do the damage pump. Right, to be able to attack with our second primate. So, damage pump as many times as you can before it, it before it gets knocked out, or before your opponent d o a boss. If your opponent does a boss, we obviously need to be benching a second mankey. We have to be prepared for everything. We have to bench two mankeys on a、uh, we have to have two mankeys on a bench just in case they do a boss, so that you know, while tanking with our stone journey in the active. And I think that's all for the deck list. We have our、uh, three copies of experience share, regular basic summons. Four baby paws with four、uh, level balls and three nest b a l l I think we have only three level balls now. So, three level ball is just because, you know, we need Venusaur early game. If we got Radiant Venusaur with our battle VIP pass, that's actually gonna set us up for the draw support before we get our B barrel into the game. 
Uh, if we get our level ball, we can't actually draw out, we can't bench our Venusaur, and that means we can't draw cards early game. We are going to have to rely on nothing but Ultra Ball to get the Bibero, and that's actually pretty difficult, even with Arvin, even with Serena, because we are not playing that many support cards for this deck, and, you know, we are not doing Pokestop either, so it's not really that easy to evolve your Bibero. And if you don't get Venusaur first, you're basically screwed. So that's the reason we have 4 Bibero and only 3 level ball now. Um, and 4 Ultra Ball to get our evolutions with 1 Arvin to search for any items, including your VIP on the first turn if you go second. Um, and I think we also have 1 Heavy Ball, my bad, to get any basic from the price. With uh, 7 basic fighting energy and 2 single strike energy for the extra damage boost. So that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Have a great day and bye for the people. Enjoy your life.